Hello, this is Will Middleton from WPCourseGuide.com, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a custom Lifter LMS course catalog using Elementor. If you don't like the look of the generic Lifter LMS course catalog, then you can customize it using Lifter LMS Elementor and some Lifter shortcodes. So let's jump in. So to start out, I'm going to go to Pages, Add New. All right, now I'll give this page a title, new course catalog. Then I'll go ahead and publish this. Then I'll launch the Elementor Builder. All right, from here we can add a new section. What I'll do is add a heading right here say uh, course catalog and you can make customizations to this too and then we'll go back here we will search up the tabs section go tabs and then this allows us to make a bunch of tabs that we can insert lifter lms category short codes into and that feature is really neat so we'll start out by going into tab number one and if you go to the Lifter LMS shortcodes, it's at lifterlms.com forward slash docs forward slash shortcodes. I'll do a command F, look for categories. And I can see right here this shortcode, Lifter LMS courses category. So this shortcode, I'll select it and copy it. It will display courses in a specific category. You can see it says example slug. I'll just replace that with the slug for my course category. So I'll go back into Elementor here and then replace this with the category. Oops, we'll delete that. It's best to do it in the text rather than visual because there's some weird formatting stuff that happens. So then when I click off here, it should say like no results found. Uh, let's just do this, let it reload. Yep, no products were found matching my selection. So what I want to do is go to template. Oops, no, template1.wpcourseguide.com and then from here I'll go to the WP admin and what I'm looking for right now is a course category so what I'll want to do is go to courses and then go to categories from here I don't have any created as you can see so we'll create a category uh, category one We'll just say example slug. We'll just make it 11.11. Um, and we can add the course category. So now that this category has been created, I'm going to go to courses. And I'm going to add some courses into the category so we can show you what it looks like on the Elementor page. So I'll just add this course to that category. And in order to add a course to a category, you'll go into the sidebar in Gutenberg. I'll show you that when it loads up. So here we go, we see categories here. We can click that. Oops, there we go, took a second to load. And then select category one that I just created and we'll update that. Then from here, we will go back to Elementor and head back into this tabs and then the example slug, our slug was 11.11. .11. And now I'm going to update this and reload the page. Since I created the category after I created the page, it might not remember, or it wouldn't have the information that the course is in the category yet, or that the category has been created. So we'll reload the page, and now we should see the course right there. And if I had multiple courses in that category, they would display like one, two, three, and call them the three like this. And then the cool thing about this is you can have multiple course categories and multiple tabs. So I can have a second category here and then, you know, obviously add some more tabs in and keep going like that. So there's some awesome stuff that can be done with the category shortcode. This is just one I learned about recently that I think is pretty cool and definitely recommend trying out if you want to create a custom course catalog page for your Lifter LMS website. Thanks for joining me in this video and I'll see you in the next one.